So you know what I want y'all to do? And I want to test y'all. No. I want y'all to step on that. Oh! Step on it. There you go. 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 Next one. Next one. Next one. There you go. There you go. Hello, y'all. Next person. Hello, y'all. Yeah, no, 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 no
Nobody like he didn't have, he didn't have no color. Nobody no type. He was translucent. <laughs> he was not, a rainbow. I'm not saying he was translucent. No, I understand. I'm just saying that. No, I know what thing is. world had different colors. Our melanin skin is so different, you know. And everybody's saying that it's, it's, it's true. Israelites are black. That's what people are basically saying. And I truly believe it, because we have so much power in this world that they're trying to suppress us, hold us down. Why? It's because. As long as we're down, they get they're to be up. up. And, and if Jesus we're up, that. guess what? They have to be down. Mm -hmm. Everyone can't be up, everyone can't be down. Yeah, so. Someone have to be in one of those situations yeah. and they chose us to be down. Yeah. Right? And this and the reason why they have an advantage, because we don't know simple truths like this. A simple truth of what Jesus Christ looked like. A lot of black people have this hanged up in their house, go to church, put this image on, but they, they will tell you nobody knows what Jesus Christ looked like until they pull this image out. Now everybody know what Jesus Christ looked like. Right. He looked like this guy. Right. right? But let's see what the Bible says. First John 5 and 10. This is the book of... Oh. This of 1 John chapter 5, verse 10. Switch, uh, Buttercut. Switch places where you shop. Get your scripture. Get your scripture. The book of 1 John Switch chapter places. 5 and verse 10. Bring, Bring it up. up. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High. Who believes on the Son of the Most High? Who believes on the Son of God? All right, you believe in Christ? Yeah. Raise your hand if you believe in Christ. There you go, look at her. She raised, she believes in Christ. <laughs> go ahead. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. We don't have to physically see Christ to know what he looked like. Because we know him and we believe in him, we know what he looked like. Why? Right? He's going to tell us. Go ahead. He that believeth not God uh -huh. hath made him a liar. Why? Because he hath believed not the record. The what? Uh, not believed the, the record. record. The what? He believeth not the record. record. Not the record. We know what Jesus Christ looked like because he left behind us a beautiful record. And we know what that record is. It's right here in the book of Revelations. That's what Revelation means. It means to reveal, to show something. Christ is revealing himself to us. He, he didn't just be in the book the whole time. Ain't nobody said, let me write down what the Son of God looked like. That's crazy. All right, read that. Revelation 101. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read on. Which God gave unto him uh -huh. to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Come on. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Come on. Who bear record? Who did what? Who bear record? record? One more time. Who, Who bear, bear record? record? We're seeing the same word being mentioned right here in John chapter 10. We're in John chapter 5 verse 10. We're seeing in Revelation 1 and 2. He said he bears record. Revelation is the record of what Jesus Christ looked like. Now let's see what, if what they say in Revelation matches up with this picture. I ain't going to hold you up too long. Revelation 1 and 12. Huh? Verse, <laughs> Jesus. Verse 12. Uh -huh. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. So John is hearing someone speak to him. So what does he do? He turned around to see who it is. Read on. And being turned, uh -huh. I saw seven golden candles. Come on. That's something called the menorah. That's where there's seven branches right here. That's the menorah. Read on. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. Come on. One like unto the son of man. Who's the son of man in the Bible? Jesus Christ. It's who? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Right. Come on. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had a long garment, a long robe. So when we see a lot of pictures, we see the long robe on it. That's true. He did wear a long robe, right? Read on. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Come on. His head and his hair. Now this thing that no one says they know, it's about to tell us what Jesus Christ's head and his hairs look like. Read on. Well, white. Like wool. Like what? Like, like wool. wool. Like what? Like, like wool. wool. They were white. That's a color. And it was like wool. That's the texture. Right? White. It was white color. And it was woolly hair. Who has woolly hair out of the midst of y'all? Look at her hair right there. Right? You see that? That's woolly. When you see it, take up a, a picture of a, a sheep. W-O-O-L. Oh, yeah. There you go. It looks just like that. Right? Read on. So we have to eliminate this out of the picture. His hair is not white. And it's not woolly. So that they got this wrong already. It's right out the Bible. Read on. As white as snow. Come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Right, because Jesus Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire because he liked to drink wine. 
That's why his first miracle in the New he Testament. Water into wine. There you go. Give us a stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He turned water into wine. Read on. Verse 15. Come on. And his feet. Now his physical color of his body. Read on. Like unto fine brass. Like it's what? Like, like unto, unto fine brass. brass. Like unto who? Like, like unto, unto fine brass. brass. Brass is a metal, right? And to be real with you, met, uh, brass is like a goldish color. Yeah. Right, it's like a, a polished goldish color. But no one's walking around looking like brass or copper or uh, gold. No one's walking around looking like that. So what is it saying? Read on. As if it were burned. In a furnace. So if I burn something, what color does it become? It turns like dark melanin, like that dark complexion. And what, what, what's that one word they like to call us? That we're what? Black. What? Nigga, black. Uh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> so we see right out the Bible, the Bible tells us that Christ was not even just a man of color, he was a dark skinned man of color. So this guy don't have that. No. He don't have the reddish around his eyes, no. he don't have the white and woolly hair. No. So this ain't Jesus Christ. You know what this is? It's so phony, right? So you know what I want y'all to do? I don't want to test y'all. No. I want y'all to step on that. Oh! Step no. on it. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. 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 Exactly. I'm gonna give y'all a good first. I'm gonna give y'all a good first. Give me Job chapter 9, verse 24. I'm gonna show y'all according to the Bible. Because the reason why we even have this image is because the wicked of this earth make Jesus Christ look like that. If a black man did this, why would a black man make Jesus Christ white? Yeah. If he was already black, that wouldn't make sense. So who would make him like this? A white person. A white person. Let's see what the Bible says about that. Go Job, ahead. Job chapter 9, verse 24. Bring uh -huh. it out. The earth is given. Into the hand of the wicked. Give me Revelation chapter 15, verse 4. Present evil world. Oh, 1 and 4. 1 and 4? Yeah, 1 and 4. Galatians 1 and 4. Yeah, Read that scripture. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So, why is this world so evil? Why is this world so just disgusting? The way it is, right? The way we're being persecuted, killed, we're being put in jails. Something that, you're, let's say your daughter, something she, she would have done and a, another white girl would have done. She will get two, a two life sentence. And the white girl and, got and off. She will got off the next mm -hmm. month out of jail. The, we, the reason why it's like this is because we, as children of Israel, we disobeyed God's commandments, and He took that power away from us and He gave it to our enemies. Every nation on this earth is not God's people. We, as Black and Latino people, we are God's chosen people. That's right. That's why God is give, dealing, with, dealing with us so the way we live. Yeah, yeah, so hard. Right? Read that. He covered the faith. The earth is given to the hand to the into the hand of the wicked, and that's why this world is so evil. It's given in the hands of the wicked. Go ahead, Galatians chapter one and verse four. Uh -huh. Get out. Who gave himself for our sins? Come on, that he might deliver us from this present evil world. From this what? From, from this, this present, present evil, evil world. world. One more time. From, from this present evil, evil world. world. We're not the ones in control, so we're not the ones who are in a, a, a large sense making this place an evil world. It's the ones who are in control making this place an evil world. Right. The same who made that image, right? Read that scripture, Job 9, 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Uh-huh. He covereth the faces of the judges. So thereof. people say that God, you, oh, you can't judge me. They'll say, who can judge you? God can judge me. Only Jesus can judge me. Yeah. But what happens? I don't want to continue doing this evil. There you go. God can't judge me. No. There you go. <laughs> but you gotta see it like this. Yeah. It's like once they okay. said that, they'll say only God can judge me. Only Jesus can judge me. But what happens when they make your God white and make your Jesus white? Ain't nobody can that? judge me because He's not my God. There you go. Give us just your hand. Give us your hand. Keep reading. If not. Where and who is he? One more time. If not, yeah. where, where and who is he? The Bible says the wicked cover the faces of the judges. The wicked is going to cover the faces of the judges. A black man didn't do this. A Chinese man didn't cover Jesus Christ's face. An Arab didn't do this. It was a so-called white man who did this. That's right. Who made Jesus Christ a false image, right? Was it Michelangelo? Mac no. Leonardo uh, Le Le da Vinci. Leonardo Le 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 Le
painters at that time mm -hmm. that painted him like this. Oh. But they got the image from the Borgia family, right? Yeah. The Borgia family, Cesar Borgia. He was the first, the second, no, firstborn son of Pope Alexander they during that time in the 1400s. The family is because the they got a whole Nexus film with it. He was in sexual relations with the son, and he painted his picture. That's what they say. Well, I'll say this. Hey, one one thing is he was in a sexual relationship. The, the man they took this image from, mm -hmm. he was in a sexual relationship he with his sister. That guy. Yeah. Yeah, he was in a sexual relationship with his sister and also with the brother. Yeah. And painted a picture of the brother to look like Jesus Christ. Oh my you know what God. I mean? And you see what they did to us? Mm -hmm. They lied to us. Give me that scripture. Um, They hang them on trees in Revelations. Is that in Galatians? They're dead bodies. Oh, um, what's that? 11 and 8? I think no, no, 11 and 8. Galatians 11? No, I think it's Revelation 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Revelation 8. Yeah, I'm going to get you a quick scripture. I mean, but they've done this to us. We have to be able to recognize and eight. What, yeah, who we are, and then two, recognize who these people are. Yeah, I mean, it's just too often us as black people, we are the most loving people on this earth. Oh, we are. We but, are. But, we pushed. but, <laughs> we always take that love for people outside of us first. Over each other. Yeah, we do. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we do. do that. And that's the it's going crazy now these days. You know I mean? it's yeah. Like we turn that. The world. So Matthew chapter twenty-four. I think verse fifteen. Um, uh, wax cold. Wax cold. Oh, verse one. Yeah, get that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter eleven and verse eight. Bring it out. And their dead bodies. And their who? And, and their, their dead, dead bodies. Uh huh. Shall lie in the street uh -huh. of the great city. And that who's those bo dead bodies? That's referring to us. Our dead bodies, physically, our dead bodies are laying in the streets of America. How when they gun us down and kill us and shoot us for just living, breathing air here. This happens to us every day. It will be as young as the sister right here, or as old as me or him. It will happen, right? They they don't care. But read on. They're dead bodies, physically, but also spiritually and mentally. A lot of our people are dead out here. That's the reason why we hurt each other, we kill each other, scam each other, rob each other. Because we don't look at each other like anything. Like we just walk around like the walking dead. All right, read on. And that their bodies uh -huh. shall lie in the street of the great city. Come on. Which spiritually is called Sodom it's called and Egypt. Which is spiritually yeah. called, called Sodom, Sodom and, and Egypt. Egypt. Which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. What do you know about Sodom in the Bible? That he burned it and turned it. But you know why they, the Lord burned Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible? I know he sent some angels there. Yeah. And they wanted to have sex with the guys. So they would commit some evil, evil acts. You, you're close, thing. but it's in reverse. What? The, it wasn't the angels that wanted to sleep with the people. The people wanted to sleep with the angels. That's why I said the right. angels came there yeah. and the people wanted to sleep with yes. the angels yes. and they went into somebody's house that was protecting them. Lot's house. house. Lot's house. Uh -huh. And um, he wanted to give his daughter uh -huh. to save the angels. Mm -hmm. And then but you know they what they did? They, they, they were those people living in Sodom and Gomorrah was so disgusting. Oh, the evil. They didn't even prefer. No, they didn't they even want the, the women. They killed the women because they wanted those men. Yeah. Those people, those Sodomites, those are Africans in the Bible. Those people were Africans in the Bible. We as black people here in America, we are not Africans. We was in Africa, but that don't make us Africans. The same way those white people who live in Africa, that don't make them Africans. We are different from most people in Africa. Right. Right. We as black, Hispanic, Latino, we are one people. We are the children of God. We're the Israelites. That's what we are. Right. So when we go into the Bible, Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because of homosexuality, uh, all pedophilia, all types of, of bestiality, all types of forced, uh, physical fornication. Right. That's what was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. And that's why God destroyed it. But he said the spiritual city we'll be living in will be just like that. And when we look around America, oh, they legalize homosexuality, mm -hmm. transgenderism, yes. uh, what was that, liquid, li I forgot what it's called. Liquidation? Uh, huh? Liquidation? Liquidate, not liquidation. It's all sorts of weird, you know, asexual, yeah, pansexual, yeah. you know, all sorts of weird they things. Do, they got all these different type of men. Right, right. Like them, we, they, not right. he or she. It's he or she. Right, he right, right, right. 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 It's not like them, they are, or, or, no. Right, doing right. too much. Um, and also, you know, with synonymous with Egypt, here we in hard bondage. Sodom right, was right, known right. for its um, fornication. I'm just using this word for the children. Yes. The devil Sodom yeah. was known for for the fornication, but Egypt was known for its hard bondage. So this is also synonymous with that. 
Okay. Only sodom, yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So yeah, just dealing with the sodom with the different type of sexuality, sip uh, sip uh, sexuality um, terms and things like that that they like to apply today. All that goes back to Sodom. That's why the Lord compared America to Sodom. But then when you keep going, read on. We're also no no uh, Sodom and Egypt. Okay. Which spiritually is called Sodom uh -huh. and Egypt. And who? And, and Egypt. Egypt. And what happened to our people in the Bible in Egypt? We were slaves in Egypt, right? A lot of people worship the pyramids. Want to call themselves an Egyptian king and a pharaoh and Egyptian queen? We were slaves to those people. That's why when we watch those movies with Moses and Moses leading the people out of Egypt, he was leading his people out of Egypt because they were slaves there for over 400 years. And those people is you, That's right. it's me, it's him, her, all of us. We are, the, we are the Israelites. We were those people in Egypt, right? Read on, and how do we get here? We got here through what? Slavery. Same way we were slaves there in Egypt. Read on. We're also our Lord was crucified. Now, have they physically crucified Christ here? No. No. They didn't hang him up on no palm tree and crucify him. How did they crucify Christ here in America? They crucified us that Christianity, the Christians that believe in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They crucified us. They cleaned us. Our blacks, the black people, Hispanics, Latinos, they cleaned us What you got? What is it, 313? Where they hang on the tree? Christ hang on the tree? No, 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 no. But when it comes to this right here in Revelation 11, 8, when it says they, he, they, hang, they crucified Christ, is dealing with his image, right. his personality, who he was. But why they what killing he this person that looks in this picture? Why they doing that to him? They ain't doing this to Jesus. Listen, he ain't Jesus, but yet black people well, worship this But guy. they showing us this as Jesus, but uh -huh. why ain't doing that to them, but doing doing it to them who look like that, but doing it to us? It's because we the actual children of God. Right. They just they you know what they want they just want the, the benefits yeah. without having to go through the persecution. Yeah. But we're dealing with the persecution because we know we're gonna obtain the benefits when we keep God's commandments. That's right. I mean those commandments to get right with God, we're the only one who have access to that. Every nation other nation doesn't. Right? Go ahead. No, no, not what you had. But that's the point on Revelation eleven and eight. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna tell y'all this. Like I said before, what what's your ethnicity? Black. African American? Yeah. Alright, listen. Y'all all come from the tribe of Judah in the Bible. That's right. That's y'all tribe right there. You know what I mean? The Lord made us the tribe of Judah. That's where y'all come from. You know what I mean? And we are all one nation of people, the 12 tribes of Israel. All these people, Seminole Indians, Dominicans, Asians, Cubans, Puerto Ricans, all these people are all one nation of people. So if we got Haitians and Bahamian in us, mm -hmm. If we were born in all these different lands. <laughs> well, so we got won't, you won't change based off where you're born. But you, yeah. you're you are what you are based off who your father is, right? Give me, I'll show you real quick. Give me numbers chapter one verse eighteen. Yeah, give me numbers one and eighteen. Who you are is determined by your father. So give me the book of uh, their First Corinthians. No, no, no. Author of confusion. I think it's in Corinthians, right? Search it up and find it. Author of confusion, because. They, they like to try to make this terminology like, oh, you're you're a uh, mixed and mm -hmm. you're Puerto Rican, Russian, white, and Chinese. That's all that's garbage, bro. All that's garbage, bro. You are who your father is. Okay. Because before I'm say I'm gonna tell the truth, before they were before they were inside of you, mm -hmm. they were inside you, their father. You know what I'm saying? So what they are is determined by their father. Okay. Right? Go ahead. Numbers. Chapter 1 and verse 18. Bring it out. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. Come on. And they declared their pedigrees. Their what? Their, their pedigrees. pedigrees. Their who? Their, their pedigrees. pedigrees. Their pedigrees. They determined who these people descend from by their what? After their families. Uh huh. By the house of their father. By who? By, by the, the house, house of, of their, their father. So, who these people were, how do we determine who someone is? It's by their father. If a white man gets with a black woman and has a child, it doesn't matter if the child is as dark as me or as white as his his white father. That child is a white man. That's what he is, right? It don't matter what he look like. He is a so-called white man, right? If a black man gets with a white woman or a black man gets with a Chinese woman, it don't matter what that what that child look like. He is still one of our people. That's right, right? And this the reason why it's like that is because read. 
First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. Read out! For God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. God don't like that whole confusion stuff. America, this is mystery Babylon. This is the land of confusion. You come over here and you forget who you are, the God you worship, your culture, your identity, the language you speak. You forget all of that when you come over here in America. It's almost like a, a melting, uh, like a soup. But for us as black and Latino people, we are the Israelites. I'm gonna give y'all one one quick commandment before y'all leave. I ain't, I ain't trying to hold you up too long. I'm gonna give y'all quick commandments, right? How well are you informed? How, how well do you know the commandments of God? Um, that shall not, not kill, that shall not steal, that shall not. Yeah, I don't know. Go on. Okay, okay, okay. There's a lot of commandments I know, but yeah. Okay. Well, let me ask you a question. Okay. Give me like a rough number. How many commandments do you know? Like a number one. I know there's 12 commandments. I probably would know. Kills. Five, five. Five? Five. 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 What about y'all? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Okay, listen, I'm going to tell you. I got Probably, no problem. The 12 commandments, same thing as seven deadly sins, right? I can add a seven deadly sins into the seven commandments and then end up how much seven eight. Well, you know, they, they say that seven deadly sin thing, but it really that's really a Catholic thing. Yeah, because nobody ain't dying church. from it. You know what I mean? But yeah. the, 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 a sin is simply you breaking God's commandments. Yeah. Once you transgress God's commandments, you've committed a sin. It's not you being nice or you being mean or you not holding a door for an old lady. That's not a sin. You know what I mean? The sins are you breaking God's rules, his laws. Right? I'm going to give you a simple commandment to try to keep. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 1. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 1. Simple commandment. Because, you know, we hear a lot of time. We hear a lot of time. Give me that. Uh, doers of the word and not hearers only. The water. We hear a lot of times that, you know, the laws are too hard. We don't have to keep God's commandments. You ever heard that before? Yeah. Uh, we're, we're just all sinners. And... Uh, I done said it to myself all the time. <laughs> First John uh, 3 and 8. 3 and 8? Oh, you commit sinners of the devil? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 3, and eight. Three and 8. Listen, man. Don't be saying that no more, man. I, I don't. I, it's just like when I get mad, I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to go out here and do nothing. But I don't do it. But I say it in my mind and I'll speak it out. And I don't know. Do what? It, it's good for you to confess, for like, sure. damn, I, I sinned. Mm -hmm. Thing. I fell short here. Mm -hmm. I didn't do what was right. It's, it's good for you to confess it, but once you confess it, yeah. you gotta do something about it. Though. You gotta do something about it. Y'all understand? All right. Read, read that scripture you got. You want one or seven? One, 11 and one. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse one. Bring it out. out. And the most I spake unto Moses and to Aaron, mm -hmm. saying unto them, mm -hmm. speak unto the children of Israel. Unto who? Speak unto, unto the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. One more time. Speak, speak unto, unto the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. So when you go into the Bible and you see Israel, Judah, you, you, you not even, y'all gotta think of yourselves. You, you search yourselves in the Bible, because you're there. Right, read on. These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. So the Lord made all the animals on this earth, but every animal shouldn't be eaten. Right? Would y'all be eating a, a monkey, a rat, some say a raccoon? You know, put them on the grill and cook them up? Y'all gonna do that? No, because the Lord gave us animals that we can and cannot eat. All right, let's check what that is. Leviticus 11 and 7. Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it okay. out. And the swine. And the who? And, and the, the swine. swine. And the what? And, and the, the swine. swine. Ah, she knows it. Wait. What is it? What? What about it? What is it? What? what? Read it again. Swine. What swine? Okay. Right, there you go. Give us a say. Okay. Okay. That's what swine is. When you read the Bible, swine is pork. Right? Read on. And the swine. Uh huh. Though he divided the hoof. Come on. And be cloven. Footed. Come on. Yet he chewed not the cut. Read on. He is unclean to you. What is he? He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. you. I we, say the Bible. He is unclean. And yeah, we've been doing that. Yeah, what? Is That's just something to work on now. Unclean, yeah. That's it. And yeah, we've been trying. We've been trying to work on it. Mm -hmm. And we and sometimes we fall short and we go back to eating it. But yeah. yeah we working. We're working on it. We're listen, on listen, it. listen. That, that alone, sister, is beautiful. You know, because a lot of people, I know they go to church and they call themselves Christian. You, especially even the pastor, the wife of the pastor. They get big old Christians, but really, they be eating pork all the time. They be eating pork all the time, and they're the ones who be encouraging us to not keep God's commandments. At least in the kingdom of heaven. 
Matthew shall be five, least in the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5 and 18. Yeah, Matthew 5 and 18. Yeah, you shall be least in the kingdom of heaven. Those who teach us not to keep God's commandments, God says they're going to be punished. We got to keep God's commandments. This is how we live. Huh? Read. Of their flesh ye shall not eat, uh -huh. and their carcasses shall ye not touch. Come on. They are unclean to you. Come on. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. I, I couldn't get away from this. Now, there's a lot of animals in the waters, in the rivers, the oceans, and everything, but everything in the waters can't be eaten. Right? All right, let's see. I was just telling my girls we can eat fish. Oh, well, well let's see. Let's see if you can eat fish. Go ahead. <laughs> These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Come on. Whatsoever hath fins. Has what? Hath fins. Has fins. Come on. And scales. And who? And, and scales. scales. All right, what's in the water that has fins and scales? Fish. Fish. All right, what else? Fish. What, what, well, I'll say this. It's fish. fish. What else? What else? Oh, wait, crab what, what, wait, wait, scales. wait, wait I, I, I missed both. Yes. Okay, Shrimp. you got the answer. Wait, you got the answer. It's fish, right? Okay. Yeah. What doesn't have fins and scales? Crab. 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 Shrimp. Shrimp. Octopus. 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 Squid. 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 What kind of fish? Huh? What kind of fish? Huh? No, what, what doesn't have fins? Yeah, they ain't got no scales. What is it? Sharks. Orcs and no. Catfish. Catfish. Oh, huh. catfish don't have huh. skin. I didn't know. Nope, nope. They don't have skin. They don't have skin. Okay, I didn't and know. So um. all those animals y'all listening off, mm -hmm. guess what y'all can't do? You can't eat them. So we can't eat shrimp? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was going to come. No, you can't eat shrimp, sis. You, you got to let it shrimp. go. No more shrimp pasta. I knew, right. I knew that's what, what was going on in her yeah. mind. <laughs> no more shrimp, no more crab, mm -hmm. no more lobster. You got to think about it like this. If, if God wanted yeah, you to eat it, Bible, you are yeah. permitted you to yeah, eat it. But it Bible. must be doing something to your body that God doesn't want you to do. Yeah. It doesn't want, what? It's like roaches. Bottom they're roaches. And they're, they're yeah. bottom feeders and they're like roaches. That's what they are. Right? Ooh, what you got, a precept? Go ahead. Matthew chapter 5, verse 19. Uh -huh. Bring it out. Whosoever, whosoever, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. And think and about it. They the least they, they they commandments. How hard is it not to eat some pork hot dogs. Are there chicken beef hot dogs? Yes. How is it not to eat um, pork pepperoni pizzas? Go to these restaurants and stuff like that. Majority of the time they're always using pork pepperoni because it's the cheapest type of meat. Right, right. You go to those um, supermarkets and stuff like that, pork be the cheapest meat, easiest to buy. So I'm saying not like oxtail or beef or goat or, or, or sheep or anything like that. Those would be more expensive than the pork because yeah. they want to sell it to you, man. It's low quality food. God doesn't want us eating it. Read on. And shall teach men so. And who be teaching us not to keep God's commandments? These pastors in these churches, oh, yes. man. Read on. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. And as much as they call themselves the grand anointed preacher of God, the firstborn of God, all that stuff, all them bishops and stuff like that. Listen, they're going to be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. They're going to be the guy sitting on the corner street, man. You know why? Because they've been teaching our people, leading our people astray for a long time. And God is going to pay them back for that. But for yourselves, y'all got to work on yourselves and stop eating pork, man. You got to work on keeping God's commandments because they're easy, man. Get that scripture, doers of the word. Let's get that real quick. I'm going to give y'all a real quick scripture and I'm going to let another brother edify y'all, man. Because that's what y'all, you, you are Israelites and y'all do come from the tribe of Judah. You know what I mean, I don't even know if y'all know someone who comes from the tribe of Judah in the Bible. Y'all know anybody who come from the tribe of Judah? Hmm. Nobody? I got you. Get oh, yeah, Hebrews, man. <laughs> Hebrews 7, man. You know what I want, huh? <laughs> Let's get this, man. Hebrews 7. There's someone, there was someone special, great, that came out of y'all tribe, man. He shared that blood with y'all, y'all family. Huh? We'll see there. someone better than that. Here is Let's see. Go here. ahead. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord out of Judah. Out of who? Out of, out of, out of Judah. Judah. Our Lord Christ, he came out of y'all same tribe. I'm telling y'all, y'all the tribe of Judah. If he come from the same tribe, ain't no way he is so-called white man. If he was alive today, he would be a so-called African American walking down the street and people would probably call him a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because he came from y'all same tribe. Read it one more time. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord 
sprang out of Judah. Out of who? Out, out of, of Judah. Judah. Out of Judah, man. And that's what Here's we are, the, man. We teach our people who they are. According to the Bible, y'all are Israelites, man. Read that. Romans chapter 2, verse 13. Bring it out. out. For not the hearers of the law are just before God. And you won't just, you won't just justify it by God just by being a hearer. You know, you know all the stories, you know this, you know that, you know all these things, but you're not doing it though. Right, read on. But the doers of the law shall be justified. What does it say? But the, the doers, doers of, of the, the law shall, shall be justified. And the doers of the Lord, the doers of the law shall be justified. So if y'all want to be justified before God, you want God to actually show you some love, and you want to show him some love back, you got to keep these commandments, man. Got to keep these back. I'm going to give y'all one more law, man, before I step down. All right, let's get number 15, man. Number 15, verse 37. I'm going to give y'all one more law, man. You know? When we go into the Bible, there's one thing that each brother here is all wearing. I want, to, I want to see y'all can point it out. What is it? There's something that we're wearing that's similar. Huh? What, that's it? The symbol? Yeah, we're part of the same organization, but there's something else. Think about it. What is it? What are we all wearing black. that's similar, huh? Blue, blue, black, blue. Okay, yeah, we look good in the blue, some black. But what else? <laughs> the head. Huh? No, he's not wearing it. Yeah, there you go. She's smart. What else? She got a border of blue right there. Uh huh? Yeah, I know. I see. I see. I see. Let's see. Let's see. But I want to see that catch on. You know I mean? Huh? The blue? Yes, you got it. The blue and these fringes at the ends of our shirt. There's a reason why we're wearing these. Did you know this is in the Bible? Mm -hmm. The Lord said we're supposed to wear these. And they're supposed to serve a purpose, too. Let's see what. Go ahead. Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring, Bring it out. out. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the children of Israel. That's a common thing we keep seeing. Speak on Israel. Speak on Israel. Because y'all are Israel. That's right. All of us are Israel here. Read on. And bid them... That they make them fringes. Make them what? Make, make them, them fringes. fringes. Make them fringes. That's what these things are in the end. These are fringes. Read on. In the borders of their garments. And that's why they're in the borders of our garments. So the border of our shirts, this is what it is. Read on. Throughout their generations. So it says throughout the generations, which means the minute you start doing this, there's something you have to do. What do you think you have to do? The minute you start wearing these, what do you think you have to do? Be acceptable into God. Right, read it again. Throughout their what? generation. Do, uh, what? Throughout, Throughout their generation. Oh, bring it down to other generations. What, what, what did you say? Bring it down to other generations. And that means what? You open this. You open this. Okay, who, who's for other generations? Did you open this? Your grand, your, do, your, you your sons this? or daughters, because my generation is done. It's you guys that oh. lead it on your generation. Yo, yo, listen, y'all got it. Listen. <laughs> The minute she starts keeping it, and y'all should be keeping it too, but the minute she made the decision to start keeping it, she needs to pass it on to y'all. Y'all got to keep it too, right? Y'all got to keep it. And when y'all have children of your own, you got to teach your children to keep this. You got to make sure your children, your daughters, your sons wear fringes and ribbon of blue. Read on. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Come on, let's see if it's just a fashion sentence or if it serves a purpose. Read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe uh -huh. that ye may look what we're gonna upon do? it. That, that ye, ye may, may look, look upon, upon it. it. One more time. That, that ye, ye may, may look, look upon it. it. The reason why we have it there so we can look at it in what? And remember all the commandments of the Most High. When I look at these, I always remember I can't steal from my brother, man. He has a wife. I can't sleep with his wife. I can't touch his children. I can't hurt him. I can't steal from him because I wear these and they're supposed to remind me to keep God's commandments. That's right. They're supposed to remind me to keep my keep God's commandments and love my brother as I love myself. All right, read on. And do them. And do what? And, and do, do them. them. You look at it, you remember it, then you do it, man. Read on. And that ye seek not after your own heart. And it's too, too long. A lot of our people say things like this. Oh, God knows my heart. Oh. <laughs> God knows my heart. He knows me. We have a personal relationship. You say People say that all the time. But listen, it's not about your personal relationship with God. It's about what he wants from you written right here. Because what he wants from you is the same thing he wants from me. Right? So now I'm, working, I'm walking that path to try to keep it. I'm going to help you to try to walk that path to keep it. 
But you can't be over there trying to do your own thing, saying, I know God knows my heart. He knows my life. He knows me. You can't do that. God gave us both the instruction. Right? Now we can keep it, and then we can help other people keep it also. Right. Just plain like that. You see? Yeah. All right. All praises. Give the sister hand, man. All praises more time, man. Amen. Amen. Praise you, God. Listen, I'm going to give y'all some flyers. I'm going to give y'all some flyers. Uh, I'm going to give y'all some flyers. But also, I'm going to let the next brother step up to edify y'all if y'all willing to stay. Let's um, edify. To keep continue teaching you. We can come back. I was just going to okay. go deliver this water and soda to this lady mm -hmm. that God put in my heart. Yeah. And I was fighting him when I got on. I'm walking back up here because uh -huh. I'm on foot. But uh -huh. I had to come out with me. So it gave me that pledge to come and deliver this to this lady. Uh -huh. They've been sticking out here for a while. And... Maybe when we walk back, I say maybe when we walk back. You don't do it. You don't speak about coming over here. Okay. Because I was, she was supposed to be over here. I don't see her, so she got to be around here somewhere. Yeah. Because that's what she knows. Well, I will say this. Mm -hmm. You know, just just simply that. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I, was, I, have, I can't disregard and tell you, when you give unto your people or give unto people, you got to know to whom. You know what? A lot of people don't know this. Let me give you this picture. Yeah, I heard this lady on Facebook. She was trying to pray. Before she uh -huh. would give money to somebody, and when she started praying for this person, mm -hmm. it's like the devil came out this person. That what you was about to say? You got to know who you got to give well, on to? Or? It's, some, it's something along the lines. But okay. that actually comes from the Bible, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I got to get onto my Bible. It's, it's just too often some people just see people and then you're like, you yeah, know what? Let me just give them some money. Yeah. And this, that, third. Mm -hmm. Or I don't want to give them money. They might do drugs. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes they don't know what to do. The yeah. Bible tells us what to do. Read that. Sarah, chapter 12 and verse 1. Bring it out. When thou will do good. What what it say? When, when thou, thou will do, do good. good. When you want to do good for someone, read on. Know to whom thou doest it. You gotta know to whom you're doing it for. You gotta understand who you're doing it for. How are you gonna understand who you're doing it for? You gotta talk to them. You see, uh, you, a lot of times you see someone who's homeless in the street, you talk to them, you're like, yo, you good? How can I help you? Because I'm saying, they'll tell you, yeah, I just need this quick dollar, man get this black or get this beer I'm not gonna give him that money to get a beer to keep drinking so you can on the stay on the street yeah. but I'm gonna ask him or right, I'm not gonna give you that money for that brother but are you hungry are you thirsty I can get you something uh, some water I guess you some food something like that sometimes a lot of times they'll be like no nah, I don't need that I just need this beer and I'll just keep it pushing and I won't feel no type of way but not to cut you off when we were that lady the other day but God said don't let the um right hand know what the left hand doing the left hand know we, we stopped and we asked her, did she want such and such and such and such? And so, yeah, it was our last, but we gave it to her. Mm -hmm. We gave it to her because we asked her what she wanted. And we know God going to always feed us. Mm -hmm. Even though sometimes we go the same through, same stuff they going through. Yeah. But, yeah, so I figured, yeah, we asked her and she was like, I try to ask them sometimes, like, what is it you want? You know, and they'll tell me, is it like food or this or that. And But her, I didn't ask her. I figured she probably wanted it. No, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Listen, you just got to make sure that it's, it's in a reasonable sense. You know, yeah. you don't want to put yourself too much. You don't want to give too much and yeah. put yourself in the hardship now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to use, um, that's why the Bible teaches us wisdom. You know what I mean? Use how to act properly. You know, how to deal with things. Go ahead. So, shalt thou be thank for thy benefits. And when you do it, you're going to be thankful for your benefits. But read on. Verse 2. Come on. Do good to the godly man. So, but primarily, first, first and foremost, you should always do good for who? Do good to the godly man. You should always do first and foremost good to the godly man. That does not mean the pastor or the Christian pastor or a preacher in the church. That's oh, not the godly man. Church, and you could, from the time I get in there, they ask for money. Right. From the time I get out of there, they ask me. Right. But nobody ain't saying put no offering to help these people that need their lights paid. Right. They need their water paid. They need their. Right so the question yeah, I'm is, to do that, so. So the question is, says, who is the godly man? A person that's out here in the streets that's struggling, that's really struggling. No. Because the next what? Nope. What? A they godly man could be in that position, but no. That's right. not a godly man. What's that godly man? Somebody huh? that's not out here stealing. Godly a man. God, a man of God. Exactly. You don't know if a person on the street is a godly man. Well, a lot of them say they are, but they're not. But yeah, that's like, true. Um, a godly man—that's um, a good point. A godly man is a man who follows the will of God. Question is, what is the will of God? To follow His commandments. Hey, she's smart. Okay. All right, give it, give it, give sharp, sister. Listen, give me a quick script. Give me Psalms forty and seven, man. 
Fall of Psalms 40 and 7. Let's get it. Quick on the sword. Keep reading on what you got. Yeah, you know, you can say where you at. Go ahead. Do good to the godly man. So you do good, first and foremost, to the man who keeps God's commandments. The man, the woman, the child that keeps God's commandments, you help them out first. Read on. And thou shalt find a recompense. And you're going to find a recompense. They're going to, because they keep God's commandments, they're not going to forget that you help them out. They're going to find a way to, pay, to help you out. Read on. And if not from him. And if they slip from their mind and they don't help you, read on. Yet from the Most High. What it say? Yet from, from the, the Most High. The Most High is going to take care of you. He's going to have your back. Read on. Psalms 40 and 7. Psalms 40 and 7. Bring, Bring it out. out. Then said I, uh -huh. Lo, I come in the Bible of the book. 48, 48. Slot you. I delight to do thy I will. I delight to do thy will. Uh, read it from the top. I, I delight, delight to do thy will. will. One more time. I, I delight, delight to, to do, do thy, thy will. will. I delight to do thy will. Come on. Oh my God. Uh huh. Yea, thy law. Thy who? Thy, thy law. law. Thy what? Thy, thy law. law. Thy law, come on. Is within my heart. Thy law is within my heart. That's a godly man. A man who obeys the will of God, which is his law. Right. right. So I'm praying that the, you know these scriptures help you out, sis. And I'm gonna tell you, on that fly you see, mm -hmm. there's three numbers on there. Flip, uh, flip it over on the bottom. There's three numbers on there. The top one is mine. The next one is Captain Alio's right here, and the, uh, the the third one is this brother right here, Officer Mazamor. Okay. So I would say reach out to one of us, and we'll help you out. We'll help you with scriptures. We have a school that has brothers, sisters, a whole bunch of children like her, black and Hispanic children. Only black and Hispanic men and women only, because we're about teaching our people, okay. bringing our people back to God. Okay. That's what we're about. So I hope you look it up. Okay, you guys oh. are in this area. Uh huh. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Our address is right there. My bad. It's at the very top, twenty nine thirty seven West Park Boulevard. Okay. For y'all too, I know y'all have cameras. Y'all young, so y'all understand. Take y'all use your cam use your camera on your phone and scan that barcode right here. You'll see our YouTube and you'll see our Instagram. All right. All right. So thank you guys. Talking to you, sis. Yeah. I never right. got your name. Elaine. Elaine. Yeah. Sis. Asia. Alasia. Persia. 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 Right. What's your name? What about you? Kailia. Huh? Kailia. 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 Okay. Kailia. I'm going to see y'all sisters okay, again. All right. Have a good night. Have a good day. Yeah. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots. Spreading the word in them streets for my people not hearing us. I pray that we make it through